We've demonstrated all these fixes using uh, or checking the ground on the trailer. Uh, the trailer itself is actually used as a ground, obviously. Now there are some cases where if you boat trailer guys and some small utility trailers out there, the ground is actually carried in a separate wire and ignores the trailer frame completely. The same tricks apply to check to make sure your light's working. Again, the connection to the light could be bad, or it could be actually a smashed wire underneath the frame of a trailer, or also up front where you got a little bit of road rash dragging the ground. We'll go ahead and show you next little example of that type of wiring on a different trailer. All right, in this example here, we'll show you, first off, one way to check it and make sure is like look at the four pole at the end of the trailer at the tongue. Follow it down. If it doesn't stop anywhere, have any open, any parts to the frame or anything like that, then chances are the grounds ran inside the wire harness. And on this example here, we can tell, we can, we can start by looking at the tail light and we got the wire harness. On our other trailer, it had two wires going to it in the right turn and running light circuit. On this one, we actually have three wires. This third wire would normally be going to the frame on the other trailer. However, in this one, our third wire is our ground. So that tells us that our ground is carried in the wire itself. So it ignores the frame completely. So if you have something like this and you have some weird stuff going on, check to make sure your ground wire is going into the light is good. Obviously this is a sealed connection, but some of them can be bolted on to the stud on the light itself. It could be an example like that. Or this wire could somehow got mashed somewhere up in the frame too. This is something for you tilt trailer guys out there. A big problem about that is on the tilt trailers is that you got a pivot point right here. You got the tongue or ground wire is attached to, and that ground's gotta go through the tongue, through this pivot point, and then out to the frame. In this case, it's going straight to the axle, which isn't going to do us any good. Uh, but if this was going to the frame, the ground is going to uh, get corroded up, rust, and all that stuff. Even though it kind of moves every now and then and scrapes it, it's still not going to make a good connection. I mean, there's a real simple fix for that. All you got to do is run a wire from this point to the other side of the, of the pivot point, just enough to, for it to work, and it carries the ground on both sides, you know, and, and then you don't have to worry about the lights flickering or anything like that.